Luckily, I wasn't ever there for a major earthquake, but I was there for a couple of temblores. And a temblor is just an earthquake that isn't big enough to cause major damage. Now, if some of the temblores that I felt down in Chile had happened here in the States, or at least where I'm from in North Carolina, I think they would have caused some major damage because we're talking like five to six on the Richter scale. But I remember one day I was in Quintero in my second ward, which is a, a beautiful town right on the coast on a little peninsula sticking out in the ocean. And we had just gone to bed about an hour and a half ago. I think it was about one o'clock in the morning. And suddenly everybody woke up, the lights shut off, and the ground started shaking. And it started off kind of slowly, and I didn't worry too much because people had told me that this happened. And then it increased a little bit more, and you started hearing this, this rumbling, grumbling noise. And just right when I was about to start getting seriously scared, it stopped. And I wondered if it was all over when I started hearing noises from all around me. And people were talking. We, we opened the door, and we noticed the people in the houses around us were grabbing blankets and grabbing their kids and leaving. And we asked somebody what was going on, and they said, well, that was the the temblor, that was a little earthquake, so there could be a tsunami coming after this. So we had no idea what to do. We threw some stuff into, into a couple of backpacks and put our shoes on. And about two minutes later, one of the brethren from that ward pulled up in his truck and he honked the horn and said, elders, hop in. Luckily, we already had our stuff together, so we hopped in the back of his truck and he took us to his house, which was up on the top of the hill, and that's where we spent the rest of the night. And I remember that night just sitting around a table, listening to a small battery-powered radio set, listening to see if there would be a tsunami. And there never was. And a week later, when we all looked back on it, we thought, you know, that probably wasn't a big enough earthquake to actually cause a tsunami. But you bet that those Chileans know, know what an earthquake means, at least when they live on the edge of the ocean. So that was a, a pretty nerve-wracking experience I had.